Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Harvard Kennedy School Senior Fellow, former Under Secretary of State for Global Affairs and Atlantic Council Board Director, Ambassador Paula Dobriansky. Good evening, esteemed guests, colleagues, and dear friends. It is my great pleasure to introduce Nadia Savchenko at this year's Atlantic Council's Global Citizens Awards Gala and present her with her 2015 Freedom Award. Ms. Savchenko was awarded the 2015 Freedom Award last year at the Atlantic Council's Wrocław Global Forum in Poland in Abstensia. Her sister, Vera, kindly accepted the award on Nadia's behalf, as at the time, Nadia was unlawfully imprisoned in Russia. Having her with us today in person is quite an honor. I would like to remind all of you of Nadia's incredible journey from Ukrainian patriot to prisoner of war to hero of Ukraine and now member of parliament. On June 17, 2014, Nadia was volunteering with the Ukrainian self-defense forces in Ukraine's Donbas. On that day, she was captured by Russian-backed separatist forces. Then for one year, 11 months, and eight days, she was imprisoned by the Russian government and forced to face a Russian court for crimes she did not commit. During this time, Nadia never faltered in her convictions, her patriotism, or compromised her strongly held values. Through her stoic actions, such as singing the Ukrainian national anthem, she came to embody the very spirit of the Ukrainian people and to symbolize their struggle for freedom. When she was released on May 25 of this year, she received a hero's welcome in her homeland. Since then, she has taken up her elected post as a member of parliament in Ukraine and in the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, where she continues a committed fight for a vision of Ukraine, free, democratic, whose people, not a foreign power, have the right to choose their own path. Ukraine's favorite famous poet, Taras Shevchenko, I think put it quite well when he said the following. He said, Boritsa, Poboritsa, Vambuch, Pomochaya, Zavas Pravda, Zavaslava, Ivolya, Svetaya. That means struggle on and be triumphant. God himself will aid you. At your side, fight truth and glory, right and holy freedom. For these reasons and many others, it is my true pleasure to present the Freedom Award to Nadia Savchenko, who truly does embody the very essence of the Freedom Award. Slava Ukraina! Glory to Ukraine, Nadia. Вечер добрый. 
Good evening. I'm happy to be around you. I'm sincerely grateful to you for taking part in my release. Thank you for every signed letter, for every resolution, for every individual protest or hearing. Thank you for your pressure. This is gave me the road to my release. Now most Ukrainians devote most of their time to fight for freedom and independence. Freedom is what is given to people by God from their birth, but nobody has the right to take it away. But very often, in order to take freedom, one must fight for it, even for the expenses of their own life. And then now Ukrainians is fighting with the whale and dishonest enemy. Our enemy is Russia. This is a country which alone actually tried to explain that they are the brother of Ukrainian. This is a country which also, along with the US and Great Britain, was a guarantee of Ukraine's security with a framework on the Budapest Memorandum providing for Ukraine's voluntary nu nuclear disarmament. But in fact, in 2014, the violation of all international agreement, Russia invaded Crimea and unleashed a war in the Donbas. This action of the Russia indicates that you cannot trust any world or any condition guaranteed or signed by Kremlin. It's terrible that in the 21st century in Central Europe, in the center of Europe is coming a war being waged. Uh, it's a war which actually took a lot of lives, but we have to stand on the side of um, the... And some time ago, America also paid a high price in order to gain its freedom and walk the path for the established for the state, and later in defended freedom and democracy during the two world wars. Now you live a dignified life for free people and you serve an example for many countries. I believe in my Ukraine. I know that we Ukrainians too can walk path of establishing a free and strong state and to be worthy partner for the maintenance of peace and defense of human rights in the world. I wasn't killed in the war or in Russian prison. On the contrary, my spirit was strengthened. Currently, numerous Ukrainians are being subjected for the same test in the Kremlin torture chambers. I remember about them and I fight for them, just like the world fought, they fought for me. My sister and my mother asked you for help back then, and now I, I would like you to thank you and for responding for their request. Now I ask you to help me release all the Ukrainians abducted and illegally imprisoned by the Kremlin authorities. Each inhuman sentence and act have somebody's name behind it. I believe that the introduction of personal list of sanctions against torturers will deter those who leave political orders and trade the life of prisoners in exchange of their own benefits. The Savchenko list and other personal sanctions are an extremely powerful tool and on the hands of democratic worlds. In the use it and support human rights defenders. For each name in the list of the Kremlin hostages is somebody's life, dreams and hopes. It's every person who waits for their release. You don't please afraid enemies. Don't you have to show them their place. Glory to Ukraine. God bless America. Thank you so much.